Coping with Trey Taylor, giving you info and advice to help you thrive and survive in life. Because we'll always be coping with something. Coping. Thank you so much for joining us for Coping. I'm Trey Taylor. We're giving you info and advice to help you thrive and survive in life because we will always be coping with something. So we have been uh, doing a series, Coping With Me in 2023, giving you tips and strategies and advice to help you live the life you desire and deserve. We're helping you focus on your health and well-being spiritually, mentally, emotionally, and financially. Coach K is one of those people that can certainly talk about that because not only has she uh, helped uh, evolve her life and crafted her life into uh, many different things, achieve many goals, she really coaches and helps women do that. Kwan Fitch joins us today. Thank you, beautiful, so much for joining us. I appreciate Thank it. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Plus, she's got two big projects coming up, a film and a, a conference uh, going on later on this week. So we'll talk to her about that and so much more coming up next on Coping. But first, your community updates. Governor Henry McMaster held his State of the State address last night where he buckled down on his push for abortion and called for gubernatorial appointments for judges because he says it would resemble the federal government's model. Now, Senator Ronnie Sapp of Williamsburg gave the Democratic response, praising McMaster for projects expanding broadband and pushing the party's agenda to raise the minimum wage and pass hate crime legislation. The City of Columbia and District 1 Councilwoman Tina Herbert will hold a community meeting today to discuss updates about the villages of North Columbia. Now, city planning and local developers will be at the meeting from 6 until 7 30 at the Eau Claire Print Building. If you would like to submit ideas or a proposal for development projects in North Columbia, and I thought we think we should have that email address, uh, you can send them to district1 at columbiasc.gov. And Richland School District 1 will name their new early learning center after Vince Ford, the graduate of AC Flora High School who passed away last month, was a longtime Richland School District 1 board member and inductee in the Richland 1 Hall of Fame. The proposed 71,000 square foot state of the art facility will house a media center, family clinic, dental room, food pantry, student cafe, family engagement room, and professional development rooms, plus multiple indoor and outdoor play areas. Groundbreaking for the facility in the Lower Richland community will be held in February. SCDHEC has your most up-to-date list of times, dates, and locations for uh, COVID testing and vaccinations in and around South Carolina. Check the scroll at the bottom of the screen throughout the show for more information, including uh, where to get your uh, test and uh, also your vaccination if you are a veteran. Uh, also uh, where you can mail in to get your COVID test. In addition to that, FEMA funeral reimbursement, uh, get set up if you have problems with technology. Um, retail outlets like CVS, Walgreens, and Kroger for vaccine and tests. Again, the Comic Bus System will give you uh, vaccines and free rides for your vaccination appointment. And also financial help, including the Lexington County Bill Assistance Program, Dominion Energy Bill Assistance Program, and if you or someone you know is having a difficulty coping, SC Hopes has a 24-hour assistance line from the South Carolina Department of Mental Health. I'm Trey Taylor, and you're watching Coping hosted by me, Trey Taylor. We're giving you info and advice to help you thrive and survive in life because you'll always be coping with something. We are streaming live on the TaylorMade production page on Facebook. Please go over there, hit like and share and follow. Find out when we uh, go live Wednesday for Wellness Wednesday from In It Together SC and the uh, Diabetes Action Council and also on Thursday and Friday. We're also streaming live on the YouTube channel. Please go over there and hit the subscribe button. There you will find three plus years of information advice, resources, and also interviews to help you cope. We also have a presence on Instagram and also on Twitter. Coming up, Coping With Me in 2023, it is our ongoing series to help really push you through uh, being the best you can be in this year. Kawan Fitch, Coach K, joins us coming up next, and we'll talk to her about that and some upcoming projects. That's coming up next on Coping. I'm Trey Taylor. We'll be right back. 
Computers, they're a part of our everyday lives. But when they're not working, they're an everyday problem. So call Computers Unique, your everyday solution. 803-351-5821. Is your computer running slow? Won't turn on? Do you need a screen replaced? Or maybe you just need another computer? Well, Computers Unique is your one-stop shop for all your computer needs. They have a wide variety of new and pre-owned PCs, Macs, and tablets. So call Computers Unique Dutch Square Mall. 803-351-5821. 803 803-351- Hi, I'm Judy Gatson. As a news anchor, wife, and mom, I know how important it is to take care of our health. Part of taking care of our health is knowing if you're at risk of type 2 diabetes. Prediabetes is a serious health condition and puts you at risk for developing type 2 diabetes. It's estimated that more than 1.3 million South Carolinians have it, and up to 90% have no idea. Take a moment to visit inittogethersc.org to take an online test to find out your risk of prediabetes and how to join a diabetes prevention program that takes the guesswork out of losing weight, eating better, and being more active. You can learn new ways to stay healthy and sustain those changes over time. When you join, you'll even get support from a trained lifestyle coach to help you set and achieve realistic goals. Go to inittogethersc.org, brought to you by the Diabetes Action Council of South Carolina. Thank you so much for joining us for Coping, hosted by me, Trey Taylor. We're giving you info and advice to help you thrive and survive in life because we'll always be coping with something. We are streaming live on the TaylorMade production page on Facebook. Please go over there, hit like and share and follow. Find out when we go live, like on Wellness Wednesday from In It Together SC and the Diabetes Action Council, and then again on Thursday and Friday. Now, we are also streaming live on our YouTube channel. Please hit the subscribe button and you will find three plus years of interviews and resources and information to help you cope with whatever you're dealing with today. So we are also streaming alive and have a presence on Instagram and also on Twitter. Our series Coping With Me in 2023 has kicked off. We're giving you tips, advice, and strategies, real strategies to help you live your best life. And after three years of pandemicing, we really want to help you achieve your goals spiritually, mentally, physically, financially, Making them is way too easy. That's the easy part. Achieving and keeping those promises to ourselves. Now that's the challenge. Kawan Fitch is here to help us. She's an entrepreneur, published author, co-author of eight books, speaker, producer, playwright, coach, wife, mother, and so much more. She operates multiple businesses Mm -hmm. and is a gifted and highly skilled visionary and for over 20 years has experience in nonprofits, organizations, social services, leaderships, business markers, and markets, and entrepreneurship. Kwan, thank you so much for joining us today. That's a mouthful, I tell you. It <laughs> yes, it is. Thank you so much for having me, Trey. Absolutely. You. You've got a lot going on, and I want to get to that. But first, I, I want to really talk to you, and I thank you so much for joining us today for this series, because you have not only coached so many women in um, navigating through their life, you've done this yourself. I mean, Girl, uh. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I remember, I don't know how we met, but I remember when you had um, your place off of uh, Broad River Road and mm-hmm. uh, you were doing a pantry and, and really, to, in my eyes, really starting your ministry, which is which is what I think it is, was, is still ministry mm-hmm. slash business of really helping and empowering and advocating for and supporting women and children. And, you know, look at you now. I mean, you, Girl. you, you know, come a long way, baby, as they say. <laughs> it has definitely been an amazing journey. Um, doing the work is is has always been Um, First and foremost for me, Um, I I understand my purpose. I understand that God has positioned me to be able to help, um, especially women um, and families navigate. And and it it has certainly been a journey for me personally. Um, I used to say in my prayers, Lord, do I have to experience everything that my clients are going to have to experience? you know, for that firsthand knowledge of of what they may be going through. Um, Because there was a season in my life where it was just one thing after the other, after the other, um, even before I moved to South Carolina. So, and then coming here, um, raising my boys by myself, um, you know, being that single mom, but 
it, it seems as though <laughs> there's been a um, a break in in the clouds, and there's some sunshine that has has happened. Um, the pandemic was um, very telling for my life, and and as we're talking about, you know, keeping you know to those goals and, and those New Year resolutions, having the goals written down has been huge for me. I'm a writer. I like to write, mm. um, and having those smart goals and really being clear on what direction I'm going in has truly been helpful in me navigating what to do next. Um, can't figure out what's next if you're you're not on some type of path. Um, mm -hmm. So in the last two years, um, focusing on finishing school for me and getting my boys out of high school was like paramount. Yes, yeah. I've been doing community stuff in the midst of all of that, um, you know, running the transitional and all of that. But personally, getting them through, you know, we were in the midst of some some major stuff, um, getting divorced, um, and and that transition, transitioning from, you know, the kind of the bounce that happens, you know, okay, you you leave the man, now where you going? <laughs> Um, and so um, just utilizing the resources that were at my disposal, you know, some people don't know that Hannah House is a, um, a part of Christ Central Ministries, but it, it is ministry. And there is no paycheck that comes along with all of the work that you do to maintain. Right. And and so it was like, you know what? OK, Lord, we'll be right here. Right. And to bring my teenagers in um, and, and for us to all begin that last leg of our transition to our next. Um, it bonded us. Um, it made the journey so much sweeter, but it also made sure that we were clear on um, this is temporary. You know, some of my families yeah. get, get stuck in the crisis of things. So um, having those goals written down, we were clear, okay, this is what we're doing this last year of high school. This is what we got to do. Um, I listen, Trey, you should have seen me riding to camps, football camps all over this East coast from Florida to North Carolina with my van with no air, <laughs> <laughs> it, it, but it was, it was what bonded us. And, and last, last, uh, what is it? Summer. I sent two boys, um, from homelessness to four year institutions, you know, and, and I didn't pay anything out of pocket. Wow. Um, yeah, um, no, nothing, nothing but God. And yeah. um, I, I want to stop you just a minute if I can, because I think you made, <laughs> yeah, because I, I can, I know you're venting. It's, you, I can see actually as you're talking about it, you're reliving it and just kind of releasing it. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. It, it very much is. Um, I talk about it a little bit in, in my, my, my last book because I did that also in that process. Of, of all of our transition and, um, you know, really becoming Coach K, you know, birthing purpose, becoming Coach K, all of that was was very much happening in, in, in that time of working those goals. Um, and so, you know, for 2023, I didn't do a resolution, but I did a word and that stuck with me um, pre in previous years. And this year, my word was increase. Mm. And already I could see how God has positioned me for increase. And um, I had someone say to me something, you know, like, you know, okay, well, you're doing too much already. Right. And, and I got tickled and I, you know, and I said, oh, you guys don't want people who have um, opportunities for your folks. Like, you know, oh, so, so you only want people who will be able to teach a class and like, that's it. You don't want right. the students to have a full rounded experience of what human services is really like. I, I, I would hope not, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. you know, yeah. so, um, I, I know it may seem like a lot, you know, doing the film, doing my conferences, doing all those things, but um, this is the life I prayed for. 
Yeah, yeah. Kawan Fitch is the CEO of Empowerment Corp, an LLC, which expands her work with women and families in transition. Uh, the Empowerment Corp has produced five books, six live stage productions, two live productions in uh, Jersey, co-produced two live productions in Louisiana, and has performed at several local events. One, A couple of things that you said, Kawan, that I really want to key in on is the first thing you said was um, that you felt like this was your God purpose. I okay. think when we figure out whatever the resolution is, whatever the change is for our life, so if you're not a believer, you still got to know this is your purpose. You, you know, don't you think so? I mean, I Absolutely. think sometimes yeah, I, we don't know what we're doing because we don't know what we're supposed to be doing. Absolutely. I, I the way I help people to kind of start to narrow that down is that you have to identify what you would do, whether someone's going to pay you for it or not. Right, 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 right. Mm -hmm. You know, when you first started coping, you know, with with COVID, it wasn't that somebody was paying you for it. You just right. knew that there needed to be a voice in this area exactly. for the people and exactly. you filled in a gap. Um, exactly. I, I, I believe that purpose shows up not only when you are listening to yourself, but also to what the world around you needs. Yes. yes, it's, yes, it's, yes. it's a personal fulfillment, but there, there, it's also outside of you. You know, um, you know, we, we, we forget that, um, let's just put, I, I say passion without purpose is a hobby. Yeah. Like it's just something you like to do and you can right. put it down. You know, um, it's it's not going to be a big deal. Um, I get a lot of flack about my um, conferences being during the week. And a lot of new business owners or nonprofit leaders and what have you, they still work full time jobs. And so yeah. they say to me, you know, why don't you do them, you know, on the weekends or, you know, in the evenings or something like that so that we can attend. And I, I kid you not, Trey, I can recall when I worked for someone full time, I would be at a meeting for my company and be like, oh, crap, I forgot. I didn't call in. I <laughs> like I, I, I was I was so committed to doing what I believe that God called me to do that it became so paramount that I, I couldn't conform to other people's issues and, and schedules and all of that. When I left, I worked at the Department of Mental Health. That was the only real job that I worked here in South Carolina. And when they moved me, when they were going to add um, William S. Hall to the campus, I kid you not, when my building moved to a different building, my cell phone would not work in the building. Wow. 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 I was working seven to three thirty. There's no way I could be in this building and not have access to text, email, right. anything, right. because I, I'm running my business even though I'm here. And I, I, I yeah, December 31st, <laughs> I'm a Saturday. I, 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 there's no way I could do that. So I know for me, my passion and my purpose was just so much greater than yeah. the, the, the other stuff. And, yeah. and, and I, I said to a young woman today, she was, you know, saying, you know, she knew that she, she wants to start a nonprofit and she wasn't sure when. And I said to her, my hope is that your faith for what God has called you to do, if you understand that this is really something that you just can't, you know, you dream about it, mm -hmm. it wakes you up mm -hmm. every, you, you, every time you're in the grocery store, you find yourself buying extra food for homeless or you know, whatever, you know, you, you find that it's something that's reoccurring for you. That passion doesn't go anywhere. And until you start to operate in faith, you know, when I first started at Hannah house, I was living with my son. Trey, I was taking the bus to Hannah House. I was on the comet. Right, right. You were like the women that you were serving. <laughs> I, and could not understand what God was doing. But I knew that I needed to be there. I had closed my office on Broad River. I'm, you know, they said, come on, you can have this office space or whatever, help us out with the women. Okay, sure, I can do that. That was June of 2019. By October, I looked around and I was completely alone. Mm. Everyone who was there, right. gone. Right. 
He had positioned me in my faithfulness to not only have the position to be in charge. So when I made the transition to actually depart, I was, I, I didn't have to go through a whole bunch of hoops to say, Hey, this is where we're going to be. Right. Because the manager's position was an in-house position. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Uh, we are uh, talking to uh, Kawam Fitch. As she said, she's part of the management team at Hannah House, a transitional housing facility for women and children. It's part of Christ Central Ministry. She's also founded and operates two nonprofit organizations, Power in Connections and Girls Empowerment Network. We are in the midst of our series, Coping with Me in 2023, where we give you advice, information, and strategies, real strategies to help you uh, live the life that you desire and deserve. You know, we're talking to Kwan about resolutions and how she moved through her own life. And Kwan, um, you know, we, of course, talked about making sure this is what you want to do. This is your passion. This is what you were thinking about all the time. Um, and again, it, it has to do with whether or not it is your spiritual faith or just faith in what you believe, the universe, whatever you believe in, hot dogs and hamburgers, whatever you believe in, Absolutely. that this is what you are supposed to do. You mm -hmm. also talked about writing it down. So let's talk a, a little bit about how that is important and what that looks like. Is that journaling? Is that notes on your mirror? I, I do notes on my mirror. I, I listen, I I will I will say this just as clear as day. It doesn't matter how you right. choose to write it down. Right. I'm I don't journal like my my feelings. Okay. When I'm sitting down writing, I'm writing programs, I'm writing budgets, I'm writing, I'm writing, you know, executive summaries on how I'm going to 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 show up in the world in, in this capacity or that capacity it's it's all about goals and 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 what am i going to, what is it going to take to achieve this if it's whether it's an event or if it's uh you know getting my master's degree right there there had to be something written down that was smart measurable timely and it had to be in line with what i needed to be able to do and accomplish in order to get to my next goal so, so what did that look like? Was that um, em empowering things, motivational things, or was it actually, I want to do A, B, and C at this point? It was, I want to do, okay. and C, you know, and because you, you have to be able to research one of the, and you to know, see it and to see, to it. see it, you got to remind you know, yourself every day. Oh, this is what I'm supposed to be doing. <laughs> absolutely. But because of the research piece of it, Trey, I, I I really struggle with women, especially because that's who my, my audience mostly is. You, when you've not taken the time to Google and learn about the area, you know, hello, if this is something that you want to do, you need to know who offers it, how long is it going to take, where yeah. else can you go? You know, I have um, one of my, my uh, mentees now, um, she's going back to school. When I met her, she was living at Transitions and working at Burger King, Okay. And now she went from, I got her a position in a daycare. So she went from the daycare and now she's actually at Richland One as an assistant to kindergarten teacher. Okay. Mm, wow. So in order for her to grow in this position to become a full teacher, she had to go back to school and so on. Listen, I might not be able to train you, teach you about certain things, but I can help you move through higher ed. Yeah. So, yeah. So, we, so we had to sit down and come up with this plan. You need to do your FAFSA. This is the website. It, so the, the the this is what you want. If this the is the angle, things the A B C D E F G yeah, that is going to take because this is not something that someone is just going to tell you. Right. Right. right you right, have right. to seek out this information. It was actually someone at her school who told her which online university would be the best fit for her because they had a program that she can do a bachelor's and master's all at the same time. Like, you know, one of those dual programs or something like that. Perfect. You didn't have to find that. So you, you, you did some people research and you were able to get that. Now we need to go, go to your next step. Yeah. And it was, it was like light bulbs because now she's coming back. Okay. So I did this. Okay. So I did this. I got my old loan from 20 years ago out of default and it, 
go ahead. You know, like that's, you know, when people do that, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. We, we, we hide from that so long. And then, you know, for her to even get that done in order to be able to do the FAFSA, and all, those had those steps, we those had to be written down. I always tell my folks, I like these, use a smaller notebook. Yeah. Something that can go in your bag, yeah. no matter where you're at. Don't come talk to me unless you got something to write with. <laughs> right, right. If right. you start talking to me, you see how I do, Trey. I'll just start going on and on and on and on. <laughs> so, <laughs> so when they come, you ha we have to write it down. Yeah. Some people yeah. like to do the electronic. They like to do stuff on their phone. That's just not me. Yeah, I like to put the page back. <laughs> Absolutely. Because also for people in business, and this is just a tip for my business folks, it's your receipts. You can't yeah. tell me that I didn't start it. I didn't do it because I have a note and it has a date. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it has where I was, who I was with, you know, there it's called receipts, you know? Yeah. So you just never know when that's going to become an important thing. You know, yeah. that's, that's your trademark even. So you, you got to be mindful that if it's not written down, it's not going to happen. Right. Right. Kawan, it has been talking mostly about professional things, but I want, you know, to really let the viewers know this, these are the things you've got to do, whether you are endeavoring to do something in your personal or professional life. Absolutely. Yeah. These are this things is that are paramount. Absolutely. And and I and I guess, you know, because all of my work is human services, it, you know, it, it all kind of muffles together. Yeah. My professional life is helping people with their life life. Yeah. So, <laughs> so, yeah. so you know, and my, my, my stuff is, you know, even though it was a professional thing to finish school as a single mom, as, as a mom, as a woman who, who's transitioning from homelessness, all of those different things play into it. That's that's life stuff. Yeah. How is how am I going to get to my next level and 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 make sure my boys come out of this well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the mental health of it all, making sure that they they are are able to get their needs met as well. So there's a whole bunch of stuff that is that yeah, your professional stuff can't can't function even in any kind of way without that personal development. Oh, and I'll I'm tell busy. you. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, go ahead, hon. I'll tell you something else. This is something that was really huge for me. I, I took a personal development course um, with Stephanie Kirkland. I did the IPOM, In Pursuit of Me. And In Pursuit of Me, I went in as Kawan Fitch Webster and came out as Kawan Fitch. Mm -hmm. I have to check myself now because I have gotten to where I'm so conscious of loving me and taking better care of Kawan yeah. in every area that I have to say, okay, is that a little narcissist? Like, because you, 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 you so now I'm so hyper focused on what works for me. Where, where do, where do I, 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 is this going to be a good fit for me? You yeah. know, I'm doing a program up with, with Columbia Housing Authority. I'm working with Gen Z. Hello. I just <laughs> sent Gen Z's out the house. I'm loving it. And it was just like, okay, this fits. I, I, I do this. The relationship that I have with my boys, we talk about stuff, all of the things that they want me to do with these kids. I do, I've been doing yeah. it for the last three years with these yeah. boys. So it, it, it's one of those things where you got to be able to be so in pursuit of yourself that the professional and the personal development that is needed and, and what the, the plan has to be clear. Yeah, yeah. The Come on, we've got, we've got two minutes and I okay. want to get to, <laughs> I know, time flies when you're having a great conversation. Absolutely. We've got two minutes. I definitely want to talk about the two events you've got coming up. You've got a leadership conference coming up tomorrow. If we can put that information up, tell us about this and who is it? Oh, for. this is this is um, my quarterly nonprofit leadership conference. Show me the money. I am excited because we will be talking all things grants. We will be talking with the Central Carolina Community Foundation. They are coming. Oh, my gosh. She sent me her presentation this morning. And I was oh so excited for my people. Um, there's so much out there. And this organization actually is a funder. So we are going to be able to get right from the horse's mouth what it is that we need to do. They are also the... Um, 
the administrators of the Midlands Gives. Mm -hmm. So we got lots of folks who are nonprofits who um, want access to funding. And, and this here is going to be an opportunity for people to learn um, not just how to be registered for Midlands Gives, but also all the other programs that they have, as well as how to make sure that you are um, grant ready and your your proposals, um, you know, researching your proposals, all that stuff. It, Can people have still time. register for the for yes, the yes, yes. Nonprofit leadership, um, J2P, um, what is it? Um, not, nonprofit leadership um, conference um, dot com, leadersconference dot com, or my website, she is coach K dot com. You can find it there as well. Okay, great. And then yeah. you've got a big thing, your movie. Oh, listen, it's a short film um, that includes my, um, I'm interviewing some ladies. Oh my God. She pours. Okay. So Corey John's story. Corey John has been my partner for many, many years working with different projects, um, the plays and different things like that. Um, he, his, his wife does amazing things. Um, and I get so tickled because Whenever I come up with something, he's, you know, he's like the goal. Let's do it. Let's do it. So it was supposed to be just a short film. And, um, you know, we're actually going to talk later today because I, I know Corey. Um, I, I just know that it's going to grow into something absolutely more than that. But she pours. It's really just about four women sharing their uh, int intimate stories. Um, and and it, this is something that came to me back in 2015. Um, I just saw this vision of women coming into this bar and um, sharing and, and yeah, thank huge shout out to um, Kiki Cyrus um, from Kiki's Chicken and Waffles who allowed us to film in their restaurant. Um, she and Tyrone were so gracious to um, let us use Kiki's. Um, I also interview her talking about business, being a woman and, and mm -hmm. in her industry. I interviewed Tamika Isaac Devine. I interviewed um, Shirley, Chism Shirley Denise Chisholm as well as Tina, um, Tina Torres. So it's, it's really, really good. Um, just women talking about some, some really good stuff. Um, talk about sex. <laughs> we had a good, 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 good time. It's, it's really going to be, um, powerful. Hopefully we will be ready for the spring. Um, we are working on getting the theater to, um, do the red carpet release and have a panel for the actors and the interviewees, to, um, to talk to the audience as well. Awesome. So I will be making sure you have that invitation as please, well. Please, please. I would love to. I would love to. And whatever else I can do, please let me know. I think I mentioned that I'm on your Facebook post. Yes, yes. Please let me know. I love so, you, Trey. Kwan, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Kawan uh, launched a Journey Toward Purpose program to offer personal development courses, into individual and group coaching in a live and online format. Courses include business, nonprofit, organizational leadership, business incorporation, and the Institute also offers a curriculum-based program to certify personal purpose coaches. Today, uh, mm -hmm. she certified over 50 purpose coaches all over the world. And uh, she is doing amazing things in her personal and professional life. So if you are trying to move forward, either personally or professionally, you mm -hmm. see Kwan's information on the screen, please mm -hmm. contact her for a, um, a consultation. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you again, Trey. I really appreciate you having me on. I really, really do. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you so much for joining us today on uh, Coping. I'm Trey Taylor. and We've been uh, doing this series, Coping With Me, in uh, 2023, where we are giving you strategies, information, and tips on how to move your life forward, both personally and professionally. So listen, if you have a story or initiative that could help someone cope, please email booking at copingwithtraytaylor.com. If you have a product or service that could help someone cope, please email copingwithtraytaylor at gmail.com. We would love for you to be a proud sponsor, just like In It Together SC and the Diabetes Action Council. They sponsor Wellness Wednesday every Wednesday here on Coping. Also, Javis Financial Services, uh, the Comet Bus System, Computers Unique, Dutch Square Mall, Black Pages, Black Expo, uh, Palmetto Media Connections, and Agape Counseling and training services. Tomorrow, our monthly update kicks off with the Richland Library. Kimberly Davis will join us to tell us what's happening over there. I'm uh, going to leave you with a reading from uh, Jesus Calling. It's uh, January 26th, and this is what Jesus says to us. Give up the illusion that you deserve a problem-free life. <laughs> Part of you is still hungering for the resolution of all difficulties. This is a false hope. 
as I told my disciples, in the world, you will have trouble. Link your hope not to problem solving, but to a promise of an eternity of problem-free life in heaven. Instead of seeking perfection in this fallen world, pour your energy into seeking me because I am the perfect one. It is possible to enjoy me and glorify me in the midst of adverse circumstances and life. It says my light shines most brightly through believers who trust me in the dark. That kind of trust is supernatural. It's a production of my indwelling spirit. When things seem all wrong, trust me anyway. I am much less interested in like in life in right circumstances than in right responses, right responses to whatever comes your way. That's your Jesus Calling for today, Thursday, uh, January 26th. I'm Trey Taylor. Thank you so much for watching and for joining us. Uh, I hope that you have an amazing day. Don't forget, Richland County is one of 11 in South Carolina that still have high COVID numbers. So if you are going to be inside with a lot of people, Listen, I've been saying this since 2019. <laughs> Don't forget to wear your mask over your nose and under your chin. We'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for joining us. Coping, find peace of mind to survive through whatever. Coping, learning the way that we thrive all together. Success for improving our life. Coping beyond hoping to do more than survive. Ways to live a healthy life. Coping and promoting learning what you can do. Six ways to a better you.